Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about the paper that discusses an ultra massive black hole at a distance of about 700 million light years away from our galaxy and from our planet Earth. This particular black hole is unusual in that it's most likely one of the most massive, if not the most massive, black holes ever discovered. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So when it comes to black holes, specifically stellar sized black holes, or even so-called supermassive black holes, we understand how they work for the most part. But there's one type of a black hole we don't really get, and we are not really sure how they were formed. These so-called ultra-massive black holes that are usually so tremendously massive and large that they're basically a size of a typical star system. And so by looking at uh, a region of space that's not really that well studied, the scientists were able to discover one galaxy that has basically a tremendously large ultramassive black hole that might be also the closest one to us, at a distance of around 700 million light years away from us. This would be the closest such black hole to us and would definitely require further observation. It's located in this region right here, um, known as Abel 85. The nebula you see is actually much closer to us, it's sort of in front of the image, but we're looking at the galactic cluster. Which is of course when you have several different galaxies gravitationally bound to each other and sort of moving in the same direction. The uh, closest cluster to us is of course the Virgo cluster, this one is much farther away. And here we have over 200 different galaxies, but the brightest one is known as Holmberg 15. This is the galaxy's image um, and unfortunately that's really the, one of the few images out there that's the only one I was able to find. But the scientists behind the paper right here, that you can also find in the description below, were able to very accurately discover the mass of that central black hole. And they did so by analyzing the luminosity of the central region and realizing that the closer you get to the center, the brighter and brighter things get, to the point where they're unexplainably bright. So bright as a matter of fact that the only explanation is a tremendously large and massive body that's producing all of this luminosity. And so by using the so-called very large telescope uh, from the European Southern Observatory, they were able to then calculate the mass to about 40 billion masses of the Sun. Now that is roughly around 5000 times more massive than the one in the middle of our own galaxy, Sagittarius A star, and it's also um, approximately 7 to 8 times more massive than the very famous M87 black hole, whose photo is probably one of the most famous photos of 2019. So that particular black hole, even though it is massive, is not as exciting as the Holmberg 15A star, as it's now known, because it's essentially one of the closest record holders to our galaxy. 40 billion masses of the Sun is as close to the highest number we have discovered, and even that number is still not entirely confirmed. Some scientists even suggested that the black hole here might be as massive as 150 billion masses of the Sun. So this number would definitely need to be confirmed in the future, but what we know for sure is that it's at least 40 billion, and it's right there in the middle, and it's the closest one. And although that's still a little bit smaller than the largest ever black hole we discovered, which is Ton 618, this one is about 66 billion masses of the Sun, it's still very impressive, especially because this is a quasar that's really, really far away from us. However, this is not a quasar, it's a typical galaxy, a regular galaxy, with an unexplainably massive and super large black hole in the middle, and also possibly even more massive than we currently calculated. And to help you visualize all of this, we're going to place this black hole right here in our own solar system just to see how far it reaches. There is Earth right there, that's Venus, there's Mars. Let's place it um, basically right here next to our Sun. But we're going to start by placing Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole, in the middle of our own galaxy. I think it's actually a little bit easier to see all this with a different background. So there's our Sun, it's a very small spot. There is Sagittarius A star, here is planet Earth and its orbit. 
and we're now going to kind of zoom out just to see how large things will get when we increase the mass of that black hole to the mass of the newly discovered Holmberg 15a star. So here we really need to move farther back and there you go. Its radius is around 790 astronomical units, meaning that it would swallow pretty much everything in our solar system with uh, maybe Sedna uh, kind of being left behind. We can try to place the sun a little bit farther away with Earth being right here. And the distance between the sun and the Earth here is just one astronomical unit. And this is how tremendously large this black hole is. So this right now is probably one of the more mysterious and more interesting giants we've discovered. And one of the reasons it's so mysterious is because we don't really understand how such a massive black hole could have been created. The current uh, explanation in the paper is that it was the result of a collision of two ultra-massive black holes from two different galaxies that collided um, sometime a few billion years ago. And although galaxies collide all the time and such explanation does make sense, it still doesn't explain how it could create such a tremendously large black hole. So specifically, how all of this resulted in uh, what we're observing, very, very bright very active central region. And because interestingly for this particular galaxy, the um, halo of dark matter seems to orbit a lot faster than it should with the velocity of about 750 kilometers per second, the scientists, uh, some other scientists, assumed that the mass of the black hole must be even higher. They suggested the values that are about four times or even more than four times higher than in this particular paper. In other words, whatever is happening in this galaxy is kind of a mystery and it definitely needs to be investigated further. And even the scientists in this paper were quite surprised to find out that the expected value for this black hole um, is about nine times less massive than what they've discovered. So we didn't really expect to find anything so massive right there in the middle. But since for this paper the researchers used a very well known correlation between the X-ray radiation um, and also microwave radiation and of course the total mass of the central bulge, it's possible that maybe something else is causing this. Maybe there is some kind of a event or some kind of activity behind all of this cloud of dust and stars that we just are not familiar with yet. It is possible that it's a black hole, but it's also possible that it's something we don't really understand. Because for one, we really don't understand how such a tremendously massive black hole can coexist with this galaxy. How can it actually exist in there and not basically swallow everything? And how can such a tremendously massive object still maintain a relatively quiet galaxy that we see um, in the middle of the galactic cluster Abel 85? So in that sense, there are still quite a lot of mysteries, but it really just means we really don't understand these ultra-massive black holes at all. For one, we expect them to swallow so much material and so much dust that they should technically completely prevent a galaxy from forming any stars. They should totally and entirely um, reduce a galaxy to a very quiet, very dim object. But this galaxy is not dim, it's super bright, and there seems to be a lot of stuff going on in the middle. So ultra-massive galaxies are definitely a huge mystery to us. And by the way, the mass of this black hole that we just discovered is um, very similar to the mass of the black hole in the middle of the largest galaxy ever discovered. The black hole in the middle of Holmberg 15a seems to be pretty much around the same mass and size as the black hole in IC1101, which is a galaxy that's ridiculously large and way, way larger than Holmberg 15a is. So we're not entirely sure how two completely different galaxies can have two relatively similar black holes in the middle. But if the size and mass of Holmberg 15a is confirmed, or even um, if we are able to recalculate it to be even higher, it would definitely make this in top three most massive black holes ever discovered and ever confirmed. At 40 billion masses of the sun, it's right behind IC1101 black hole, but if its mass is higher, it might even get to the top spot. And if the scientists behind this paper are correct, it makes Holmberg 15a star the closest um, ultra-massive black hole in the local universe detected by using Earth telescopes and observatories. In other words, it's the closest, most massive neighbor that we have. 
But until someone else can confirm these discoveries and these calculations, we're going to have to err on the side of caution, mostly because when it comes to black holes, there is still a lot of stuff we just don't really know. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Check out the paper in the description below. Come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before and subscribe if you still haven't. Share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences and maybe even support this channel on Patreon. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye.